Hello everybody, this is Caitlin with the Twinsburg Library and today Kirsten and I are sporting some horns for Halloween. So today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can have this hairstyle on both your doll and on yourself. And all you need for this hairstyle is our rubber bands and some bobby pins. Super easy! And we want to give a special thank you to the Etsy store Smuggles for Muggles, Muggles for letting us borrow some of their masks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started! So on Kirsten, we're going to be giving her some horns. So you can be like Maleficent or Monster or whatever else you want. So you can see I've already done one side, so now I'm going to show you how to do the other side. And for this hairstyle, all you need is a rubber band and pins. And so we're going to start with some nice brushed hair on her. Now remember when you brush a doll's hair, always make sure it's a little bit wet and make sure you hold the base of it so that way you're not going to be pulling all of her hair out. And just do it nice and gently. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this side of the hair. We're going to part it down the center. Luckily, Kirsten is an original run doll, so she already has a built-in part. But you're going to part it down the center if you don't. And then we're going to pull her hair into a high ponytail, wherever you want the horns to be. Okay, so and we're going to wrap the rubber band as many times as you need to to secure it. Now for this one, on my on the last one, mine's the third, we're only going to pull it out part way. So we're going to leave a little bit out like that. And that's going to be the base for our uh, horn. So now from here we've got our base. We're just going to keep sectioning off pieces of the tail of that like little bun type thing. And we're going to be wrapping it around. And sometimes we're going to pin it, sometimes we're not. We're just going to kind of go by feel. Uh, I'm going to use other pieces of hair to hold it in place. So this one I'm going to pin. I'll take a little, little bit of a bobby pin. Now it's always best to use the same color bobby pin as your hair. That's not what I have, so she's gonna, you're going to be able to see her pins nice and easy. So I just got the pin and then we're going to keep going. Sectioning and spinning around. Now, once you get closer to the end, you're going to want to make sure the base of your horn is nice and thick. So I'm going to keep a couple of them down low to the base. And do another one to the base. Hold that other one, and this one I'm going to pin, make sure it stays. Now, depending, you can use more pins, less pins, depending on how much uh, play you're going to be doing with your doll how secure you want it to be. If you're just playing around, you don't need that many pins, but if she's going to be rocking and rolling down the slides with you, probably should use a few more. I'm going to go ahead, or if she's going to go trick-or-treating with you, it's always good to make sure it's good, solid hairstyles. All right, she's going to need a pin, like so. And we're going to do one more. This one I'm going to try and tuck in the ends underneath. Like I said, you're going to still going to be able to see the pin a little bit. Then this one came a little undone. And we're going to make it a little messy. We're going to pull up the top so she's a little bit more things. And voila, she's got some crazy horns. And now I'll show you how to do it on yourself. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do the monster hair on yourself. So all you're going to do is you're going to start with your hair down, all nice and combed. And we're going to do a center part right down the middle. Use a nice wide tooth comb, like so. Now, I'm not a huge fan of having a center part, so I'm just going to take a little chunk, just a little chunk, and move it over so that way I have a side part. But everything is mostly still half and half. And if you've got curly hair like me, once you start brushing it, it turns a little crazy. So that works nicely for having a crazy hairstyle. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up each side into a very, very high pony. So you're going to have some ponytails going up and you're going to want to keep it nice and high on the top of your head. And you're going to move it a little closer to your face than you normally would for like when you have pigtails. All right. And then the key the trick with this is we're going to pull it through and then on your last pull through your rubber band, you're going to leave a little, tiny little bun on the top. We're going to tighten it and 
There you go, because that's going to end up being the base of our horns. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you want to keep them kind of even, or as even as you possibly can, because you don't want uneven horns, because that would be sad. All right, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the last pull through. Make sure you don't pull it all the way through and you leave a little tiny nubbin of a bun. Like that. There you go. Oh, I got some crazy hair. Now all we have to do is I'm going to do it on this side so you guys can see it a little bit better. We're going to take little parts of your hair and we're going to go ahead and wrap it around the top of your nubby little thing. And then you're going to go ahead and pin it. Always good to use bobby pins that are the color of your hair. I've got black ones, so you make do with what you got. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep going. I'm going to make it a little tighter on the top so, my, uh, so that it's pointy. And then looser on the bottom so that way the base is uh, wider than the top. Like that. And then I'm going to pin it. Now, if you want, you could tease your hair before you do all this to make it super, super wide and wild and crazy looking. But I'm not a huge fan of teasing my hair, so I'm just not going to. So you can do that if you want to. All right, like I said, nice and loose on the bottom. And pin it. Now you can use more or less bobby pins depending on what you're going to do with your hair. And we're going to do one more. Oop, lost a curl. And then we're going to tighten it at the top. So that way we have a horn. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Oops. Got to get that bobby pin going. There we go. And there we go. I've got some crazy looking horns. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope if you guys did use this hairstyle, I would love to see it. And you can share your pictures with the tw librarian at twinsburglibrary.com or share on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.